right, let's start all over again. and girls welcome back so now this is our last ending by the way so 
we have played it again, again, and again. We have three endings. We did the throwaway ending, and we did the watch it ending, and now, finally, the last one, we're gonna send it off to someone else. Yes. Yes. Let's see what happened, because the last two ending will end up dead. Oh, the credit is different. I was sickened by the whole series and sealed the uh, VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulder relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Actually, I have to sit down on a chair to clean up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed it even real? Though I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why, so I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and formerly seen ones about a location of where the building was made. One comment on the strange forum stood mm, me out. It says that there seemed to have been a group summer killing at the property. I searched for the same user comment in 2009. There was a case where a man was recently committed Murder suicide I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, a man killed his children with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to grocery shopping in a local supermarket. And the wife came back and said, was killed in an extreme way. He, he hung himself in the same way. They said the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails, a punch into her whole body, and in her stomach. Oh my god, I wonder if throw up in front of the opening image. But I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and had come several colors. That's too fast and emotional phrasing. You guys can read the rest yourself. Internet called the manager to talk about everything I experienced during that shift and why I just, however, the call was never picked up. It was the same over and over again. I received a phone call from Mr. Rose. The fiance, uh, neither who we have never met, had a bad feeling about the sure it was. He said that the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. It was in the dream. I wanted to go the he was found. All storage behind the convenience store, and he was found there after a day uh, of these days. I dropped my phone. I quit my part time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near to the grocery store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the grocery store, I could always feel such sharp stare towards me, and I couldn't be able to help to try to pass it as quickly as possible to so not look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down, raising seems the port management, the further detail were not published, and having the mean or required to examine it. After a while, the memory of the convenience store started to gaze down a bit. One day, as I passed in our closed down store, I heard a child voice, and I saw the woman I looked at my hand and picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Okay, is something scary coming out of... Have you seen the end? Oh, good. Nothing. Scary. Uh, if you send it off to the senders, now we know. Um, so, we know from what we just read before. So, there was murderers uh, at the place. And that's why the store is haunted. Though I still don't know why the manager is dead. It's probably like, uh, you know, one of the ghost story in Japanese uh, culture, 
from the one of the ghost story, Japanese ghost story, like the seven days with seven tape, I think. And then if you turn it on and watch it the first one and the last one, if you don't send it off to someone else, um, basically you're gonna get killed. But if you send it off to someone else, you know that you will survive, but someone else will will get screwed. Okay, I think it's a very nice small games, and um, hopefully in the future um, they can make some more. All right, thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching.